Introduction to Texture Painting Mode in Blender The Texture Paint Mode in Blender is a specialized environment that allows you to paint directly on 3D models. This mode enables you to apply textures directly onto model, much like painting on paper, but in a 3D space. To start, open Blender and create a cube. Press Shift A, go to Mesh and choose Cube. Now we can go to Texture Paint Mode from top left corner or we can switch to Texture Paint Workspace. In 3D viewport, we can hold on middle mouse to rotate around our scene and object. We can hold on Ctrl and middle mouse to zoom in and out smoothly. Of course, you can use a scroll mouse wheel. By holding down Shift and middle mouse, you can make a pan. You can press 5 to switch between orthographic mode and user perspective. In some cases, switching to user orthographic helps you to paint in a better result. You can use the hotkeys 1, 3, 7 and 9. By holding down Ctrl and 1, you can switch to different orthographic. You can reverse it or mirror it in other words. So Ctrl 1, Ctrl 3, you can use 4 and numpad 6 to rotate each 15 degrees in left and right and do the same thing with 2 and 8 which allows you to rotate each 15 degrees in top and bottom direction. If I try to paint, it's a missing material texture. To start painting, you need a texture. Go to the top middle part of the screen, click on texture slot, then click on the plus sign and select base color to assign a new texture to your model. You can change the name, width and the height, multiplied by 2 so that you can get a 2K image texture, leave it without alpha, and you can choose a base color. Click on Add. Now you will be able to paint on your cube model. Let's press Ctrl Z to undo this. In the below we have all the brushes. This is some custom brush that I uploaded. Let's choose Mesh Texture Paint. All these brushes is come with Blender. We can choose a different brush and you will see its effect. Let's choose Add Brush and Paint. As you can see, this is very soft. As I change the brushes to something else, we will see their effects differently. Let's go and change the color to something else. And now let's use paint soft pressure. Right now I'm using a mouse and later I will switch to graphic tablet. And paint hard. Let's use a red color. And you will see the difference between these brushes. Here we have the smear. With the help of a smear, you can smear out the edges. You can change the brush size and strength easily by using Blender's tools and shortcuts. Press F to quickly adjust the brush size and simply move your mouse to increase or decrease the size of the brush. For the strength, which we have here, you can hold down Ctrl to, to snap in each increments or you can use the hotkey Shift and F to have full control over the strength. Let's press T and you will see these toolbars at the left side. You will see that we are in brush mode. We can choose blur to blur it out. And we have a smear, as this brush is good for smearing. And then we have clone, and fill, mask, and annotation. So we can use fill, for example, to fill it with any color that we prefer. We can right-click instead of 
just choosing the color from here we can right click and choose different color and then we hit the fill and this color will apply to this object since we didn't mask it or we didn't use any mask it will apply these to all the faces of this cube using a graphics tablet during the painting process I use a graphics tablet which has several benefits first increased accuracy a graphics tablet allows you highly precise painting which is especially useful when painting textures and in intricate details pressure sensitivity one of the main benefits of using a graphics tablet is its pressure sensitivity. You can control the thickness and effect of the brush strokes based on the pressure applied, making your painting appear more natural and realistic. Brushes in Blender 4.3 In this latest version of Blender, you can use various brushes for painting textures and 3D models. These brushes help you add different effects to your painting and create more detailed textures. In this version, there are multiple default brushes, each designed for specific types of painting and textures. How to use brushes in Blender? To select a brush, go to toolbar at the top of the screen and choose brush. You can then select the desired brush from the drop down menu. After selecting a brush, you can modify its setting, such as size, strength, falloff. If you want to change your shape of the color figure, you can go to Edit, Preferences, and in the interface, you can go to Color Picker Type, and choose square S, V plus H instead of circle. And here we can create color palette. We can name it. We can choose different colors. And by clicking on this plus, we can save those in this color palette list. We can remove the color palette by this minus or add those by this plus. We can change the position of those by this to arrow. We have the texture and texture mask, which we will use them later when we will import our custom brush whatever you see in the setting you will see those here as well for example for the stroke you can use stabilize this allows you to paint a bit carefully and then we have different uh, fall off let's set it to constant let's go to stroke and turn off stabilizer stroke let's assign a different like smith and you will see the difference between these two as i said i'm using a mouse When you will use the graphic tablet, you have to enable the pin pressure for the strength and radius. When the radius is turned off, you will get something like this. And it's turned on you will be paint very smoothly on your object
You can sample the color by pressing Shift and X. For example, let's paint with this blue. And now let's change it to something else. And now I'd like to paint here blue. So we can press Shift and X on this blue color and it will assign it. And now we can start paint the blue in this area. Or you can go to color palette and just choose any of these presets that you created. And then the time if you want to redo or undo the hotkey for that is Ctrl Z and Shift Ctrl Z. Using a graphics tablet gives you more control and precision while painting the brushes.